Hey there! In this video I'm going to talk about this Zigbee flush mounted dimmer for 230 volt lights. If you like this video then please hit the subscribe button because we're going to cover a lot more about LEDs in here. So now let's get started. First of all the dimmer has a very interesting size because it's going to fit right into this flush mounted box here so you can place it right behind your switch. So yes, you could take your already existing retractive switches connected to the Zigbee dimmer and therefore connect your lights with one of your favorite gateways and make it smart home. So in theory you could use this dimmer right here for every 230 volt light, switch it on and off, dim it up and down with the up of your choice. Speaking of choice, this Zigbee dimmer is compatible with a lot of Zigbee gateways like Philips Hue, Amazon Echo Plus with its Alexa, Decons, Zigbee 2 MQTT and last but not least Samsung SmartThings. So just a legal side note right here, um, this is serious stuff, we're working with 230 volts right here so um, if you're not used to it, uh, please uh, call an electrician and let him do this stuff. This is nothing for someone who's uh, just doing this as a side business or something like that. Okay, I've already prepared the setup for you. So here's the flush mounted and here's the retractive switch. And of course we have a light here, uh, filament one. Um, so what we got to do is we are gonna connect uh, the flush mounted Zigbee module to uh, the Philips Hue app and this is what we got to do. So let's go inside the Philips Hue app and then we're going to go to settings and light setup and add light search and now we have to add the power and the app is searching for a new device. Okay, there it is, dimmable light one. So yeah, let's go into it and we'll rename it to light one. And then we can go back, back again, and then rooms and zones, video room. And yeah, then select the light one that we have found and then home. Uh, let's go inside the video room and now we can switch on and off, off, on again and of course we can dim down and up. Awesome. But you could also use the retractive switch of course, one off, two on again and if you hold the retractive switch like that, you dim down Like that and once again up. Perfect. So next up is this little guy right here. Uh, you can set a minimum uh, to the Zigbee flush mounted and um, we're going to show you how this works. Like um, inside the app we're going to dim down to a level where it begins to flicker. See like that. And this is a situation that you want to avoid. So we're gonna go a little bit higher than that. Like that, so it stops flickering. And now I'll push this minimum button right here. And now we can dim up and down between those two situations and it won't dim lower than that. So you will never have that annoying flickering. So if you want to reset this situation, it's very easy. You just have to uh, dim up to 100% and then you have to press this button again till this happens and then 
it's reset and you can yeah adjust it again as you like so as you can see it dims up and down again um, like before okay so next is reset of the whole thing uh, it's also pretty easy um, all you got to do is like push it five times one two three four five there it is blinking and that's a sign that it worked so it's reset so now it's your turn tell me in the comments below which already existing retractor switches or lamps you would like to control with this Zigbee dimmer see you next time bye Thank you.